Thanks for joining us today, folks. I'm going to continue reading our part from Anselm. I'm not even on the right page, but we'll get there. This leads us to our second line of objection. The argument appears to treat the existence as if it were a quality or predicate. But existence is not one quality which an object may or may not have alongside others and yet still continue to be there. The point is brought out by J.E. Moore's celebrated comparison in two sentences. Some tame tigers don't exist, and some tame tigers do exist. The first sentence is nonsense. But in order to make his point, the ontological argument appears to treat the existence as a quality which makes the actual existing that in which nothing greater can be thought greater than the mere idea of that in which nothing greater can be thought. The problem here is, G.E. Moore is a moron. He says that some tame tigers exist while some ta same tame tigers don't exist. It just doesn't make sense because Anselm's point is that that which is in the mind has is not as great as something that actually exists. A tame tiger that doesn't exist is not that great at all. Now, Moore has a problem here. He doesn't understand philosophy and I'm just so sick of this idiot coming into this world and trying to rip apart some guy who's been a philosophical guru. And what I was trying to say is he's a philosophy stud. So if you're trying to get Anselm, he's greater than that which cannot be greater than thought. So if you don't understand me, read the book. And that's all I've got for you today because I'm so sick of more the moron.